welcome back to the Rovers Reports YouTube channel. This is just a pure reaction video. Honestly, I can't believe the news that has just come out. Rich Short comes out with some belters on it. There's no way you should be going to sleep. And he's right. He, he is right. And do you know why? Because we've signed Norwegian midfielder from Fitesse. It is Sondre Tronstad. Um, do I know much about the bloke? Absolutely no idea. Am I going to try and get a Norwegian fan who knows a bit about him or a Dutch fan who knows a little bit about him on the channel? Yes. But for now, you're going to have to put it with Oli. Oli, a midfielder. Not really someone that fits our style of signing. 27 years old. Not usually what we're doing. It wasn't the wasn't the way I thought we were going to go. But he's got a cap for Norway. He's also got a lot of experience in Europe. What do you think? I mean, it's the kind of person I'll be Googling now for the next 24, 48 hours just to find a couple of YouTube chip, you know, clips to see if he if he stacks up well. Look, 27 years old brings the average age of, of our squad because let's be honest, we have been working with a lot of youth. Um, defensive midfielder, that gives me vibes a bit there that he's looking to potentially either challenge someone for a place, um, which we've spoken about in previous videos, or potentially move that person on. Uh, but like I said before, they had the target of getting three signings in for another June and give Rotten his, his dues. He's managed to get two in and obviously get the target of another one in, which we all hope is a striker. But still, this is good progress. I always knew it was going to be the loan or the free market. Um, and with with that being said, we, we've got two names. One, which I think was a, is a hell of a coup, um, in Nalanis. And I think this one, obviously the proof will be in the pudding, but let's hope uh, he, he adapts very well to the Premier to the uh, Premier League. Let's hope he adapts very well to the Championship. Well, who knows? We, we could be going up with these signs we're beginning so far, obviously. Um, <laughs> you got to remember that Yondal Thomason has worked in Scandinavia before. He is Scandinavian himself. And, you know, this lad, um, he was big with the Norwegian youth. And, you know, he's come through. He's not quite hit the heights that he was meant to. But, you know, he's still out and about in, in Europe at the minute doing his bit. But one thing I do want to point out is a lot of people are going on about how I think it's two or three players we can sign now from abroad without needing um, fulfilments of points for work permits. This player will not go towards that due to the fact that he would fulfil the points for a work permit anyway, regardless, due to having make, made an appearance for um, Norway before and also the fact he's played in Europe with Fites. So, you know, it's nice to know that we've got all them availabilities as well of signing people from abroad about the work permit points. I think that um, it, it does give us um, it does give us a bit more to look out there. But, Oli, I just want to get your thoughts, you know, a final thing. I just want to get your thoughts. What's your thoughts on going out into Scandinavia for these uh, for these players? Do you think that it could work for us with Yondal Thomas and having a deep, in-depth of knowledge there? Or do you think that, you know what, I think we should be, you know, keeping it more English youth coming in so that we can fulfil the, the rotor as well? No, but it comes with, um, to a degree, then low expectations um, with not a lot of media coverage of these players, nothing that we know about. I'm sure in days to come, by the way, that will end up speaking to someone or there'll be somebody and there'll be potentially Vitesse fans will see him get a comment from one of those maybe about how they rate this lad. Um, but yet again, um, you know, he's, he's a well-known entity and uh, JDT in sort of Scandinavia. If you do look at his record as a player, he was a formidable striker. You know, even when you got, you know, when you play for AC Milan, Feyenoord, just name a couple as well. So I think this is a market we're going to have to go into. Um, and I, I don't, I, I think this can only sort of benefit us really going forward. I think in the past, Rovers have had some, had a pretty good Norwegian not too long ago. Um, so this is big shoes to fill. Um, and obviously, probably different caliber of player, but we all know that Pedersen is regarded as the, the top Norwegian player to play for Rovers. But hopefully, this, this like comes in, he, he sees what we've in the past with Pedersen there's the pedigree of playing the Premier League and hopefully gets the bit between his teeth yeah and like, like Ollie said there he said not too long ago but for any of the younger viewers it, it was quite a while ago for us boys you know that, that's nearly half of our life um Pedersen since he last played played for Rovers but obviously with Oli Pedersen is quite a recent player for him anyway but yeah you know he has got big big shoes to fill we know that for a fact um does this mean it's the end of Lewis Travis 
being the captain, being the starting CDM, you know, this this man so far from what I've seen by him, he's a, he's a powerhouse, he runs the midfield, he's an engine, you know, very few things that a lot of the Norwegian fans have said so far. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know what to expect from him, but is this the end of Travis? I don't know. I'm going to leave that to you guys down in the comments, but, you know, this is a little reaction. We'll do more in depth on him. I'll try and get Ollie on it because I'm sure Ollie will feel all professional if we get a Norwegian or a Dutch bloke on giving a little bit of in-depth analysis. He's going to be loving all that. But yeah, thank you I'll, guys. I'll put, my, uh, I'll put my posh voice on and I'll uh, <laughs> you know do the hair up, get, get everything lined up properly. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll make an attempt, you know. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, though, if you guys want to like, subscribe and also comment down below, is it the end of Lewis Travis's reign in that CDM spot? Let us know. Take care. And that's another sign in Blues. That's two out of three.